It's a beautiful day here in Anna Maria Isle, one of my favorite places in the whole United States. We've got a brand new Triton 24 LTS Pro. There's a whole smorgasbord of fish that we're gonna go after today. We're gonna go out in the Gulf, do a little deep dropping for stuff, maybe come inshore. We've got hogfish, grouper, trout on the flats, redfish. You never know what we're gonna catch. Beautiful weather, let's go get them. All right, Jason, we're out here. We're gonna go out to Anna Maria, a few miles offshore. What's gonna be happening out there, you think? We're gonna fish for hogfish, and uh, we're gonna go out there. We're gonna bottom fish for shrimp, and uh, also we'll catch a variety of species, grunts, snapper, grouper, so nice. it should be a nice day. So we got a whole smorgasbord out there, you know? Yeah. That's, so that's the one thing about salt water, especially where we're going on these wrecks, you never know. You can get a giant cobia on one shot, get a little grunt on the next, you never know what's gonna happen. stopped on this ledge about 17 miles out offshore Anna Maria Island and what we're doing is throwing a little knocker rig. It's a 40 pound test fluorocarbon leader. It's about a two ounce weight and a little two aught hook and a shrimp. So we're just taking the shrimp like this, hooking them you know right in the tail and just dropping them down. We're catching all kinds of little crazy reef fish and we're trying to get into some hogfish. Hogfish are a crazy looking fish. They call them hog snapper. They're actually a member of the wrasse family. but one of the best eating fish around. They're pretty wild looking. That's a little one. Hey, how about that? Little baby. Little hog, look at that guy. This is a little female right here, so the bigger ones fight really good, but uh, this guy's, or actually this, this little girl's just a little bit undersized, but you really don't want to be keeping these real small fish because they actually change, you know, change sex. sex. Yeah. Hogfish are a very interesting species because they'll actually change sex according to how many, what the ratio is in the certain area. So they'll start out as a female, and if there's too many females, then they'll turn into a male, just so they can reproduce in that area. Good job, man. First hog of the day. Nice little, nice little hogfish. Let her go. Okay. Basically with the hogfish, it's a really good sign once you start catching porgies. Generally, it seems like the porgies are close to the hogfish. You're gonna catch a variety of species and then you start catching the hogfish. And then once they come in, they kind of dominate the bite, it seems like, and you'll get double headers. And it'll be like, boom, 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 boom. And then it could be over. It just depends on how many males are actually down there and being dominant. Yeah, he rocked it pretty good. All right, that's a good fish. Definitely. Once he kind of is coming up too, you just kind of want to just like lint noodle him, you know, like okay. a trout. Nice and easy, yeah. Just because if you're herky and jerky in, then you'll pull hooks a lot of times. No limp noodles or herky jerky in. Yeah. <laughs> herky got it. Jerky. I got it. Now he definitely, when he first hit it, it just boom, he just stands so down. Too. Now he's just kind of chilling. Yeah, it's a nice hog. Look at him. Oh, yeah, that's a beautiful. Look at that thing, man. That is a beautiful fish. Holy crap, look at that. That's awesome. He got you in the ledge a little bit too. Yeah, right he there. sure did. Wow, look at look at that cra I mean, crazy mouth. You can see that it looks like a, a boar. There you go. Yeah, man. Nice. That's what's up. Look at that crazy guy. I mean, that's, look at that mouth. Huh? We're greasing that joker. Yeah, that I'll is get a, a good really picture. nice one. It's such a wild, exotic looking fish. That's why they call them a hogfish. Look at the chompers on that thing. So they just take a, a crab and just crush it down in there. That is a beauty, huh? Look at that you. guy. That yeah. is great. Crazy fins on, really exotic. There's really not a whole lot in the ocean, not a whole lot else that looks like these guys. Uh, like I said, they call them hog snapper, not a snapper, they're actually a rat. A lot of people think they're a snapper, they can order hog snapper on the menu. This crazy looking thing is what you're ordering. One of the best fish to eat around. But uh, just on a little piece of shrimp, you know? Yeah. That's a, and that's a male. Yep, that's a nice male. Beautiful fish. See what I was saying, when they pin you down, like, yeah. You want to use fairly tight drag because they'll get you in there. You see the scrapes, he was just going yeah. on the side and rubbing on the yeah, ledge. See the scales are all messed up. He was inside of something, but. Yeah, well that's just coming up to get the air bladder. It comes through like almost like 
you know, the snap and pop deal. Yeah, it's such a such a wild looking fish. You got yeah. Yellow fins there, the pink in your eyes. You got even some purple in there. We're gonna eat that one for dinner oh, tonight. Man, we'll cook this guy up. That's like the best eating fish. Oh yeah. Around. Real white you know? flaky meat. You can make it taste whatever you want it yeah, to be like. I mean, I'm all about catch and release, but I think this guy might Oh, yeah. These, these are riders. Awesome, bro. Thanks for putting me on that. Hell, yeah. All right. North American Fisherman is brought to you by Triton Boats. We take America fishing. There is something a hawkfish does that is even stranger than their lips. Tyler will show you what these fish can do when North American Fisherman returns. Uh-oh. 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 That's the man. What I normally use for the hogfish is I use seven foot or seven and a half foot St. Croix medium action rods, you know, you know, 20 to 30 pound braid, 40 pound fluorocarbon leader, two ounce lead, and a uh, one or two odd J hook. And the main thing is keeping the bait on the bottom and not moving it too much and letting that fish eat it and then just winding more than setting the hook because the fish already has it in his mouth. Nice, man, look at that guy. And now watch, now the other one immediately turned white. See, it's starting to change a little. Look at that. Right before your eyes, it's changing to white. But all, a lot of times, you notice how so many fish will change colors. Like, he's starting to turn like, see like this white pattern that's coming in? They'll blend in with their surroundings. So if it's like yeah. a nasty structure or hard bottom, yep. they're real bright. If they're on the sand, they're gonna be a real light color. Right. And these fish are cruising around, there's no, necessarily spot like everybody's like oh take me a spot take me yeah. a spot well these fish are moving around yeah, so move. much just an amazing creature yeah. all, a lot of fish do that kind of thing but the old female hogfish you know we're gonna let this one go most important thing when you're going out there trying to target these hogfish is basically being set up properly if you're not sitting on the structure or you're not having a nice show on the bait of bait fish and you know hogfish and grunts and all that stuff on the bottom like a fuzz basically around the rocks you're not gonna catch anything. So having a good bottom machine, properly anchoring, checking out your, your anchor heading with the wind and the tide, the boat's gonna sit differently <laughs> every different location oh, you go to. Worried. So oh. sometimes you might have to drop a couple times sure. to get set up. And once you get set up, then you can start catching. <laughs> Ooh, Got see that head man. shake? Oh yeah, look at that. He's, he's fighting now. Oh yeah. Wow, nice one. It's a beautiful fish. Nice one. Get down and grab that perch. All right. Just don't grab that leader too much. There you go. Look at that. Look. Throw him in the boat. Oh. Yeah. All right. Look at the Great snooter job, on this bro. one. Give me a high five on that one. Look at the mouth on that thing. Look at that. Crazy. <laughs> that's a beautiful fish. That though. really is. I mean, that's that's something you can hang on your wall, you know? I mean, look at that. like. Purples, Purples, blues, yellow, yellow, yeah. Reds. I mean, they're just so cool looking. And just the gnarly fin and the crazy mouth and awesome, man. There you go. That's a good <laughs> fish. Come here. Don't get back in that ledge. I mean, this is essentially this is redfish tackle. This is a nice one here. Yeah, it's fun when you're doing these light tackle. It's a fun little fishery. I mean, he's got it. He's got it just doubled over. God, he's whipping me. This is this might be even bigger here. That's a nice one. What is uh, that? It's a red grouper. Oh, red grouper. All right. A little variety pack. Hey, all right. It's almost legal red grouper. Almost. Look at that shrimp. Yeah, I'll tell you, every drop is something different. Hey, we can reuse that, all right. <laughs> Rinse and reuse. Yeah, every single drop, we're getting a different fish, which is really cool. Just shows you the, the biodiversity out here on these ledges and stuff, I mean, it's all sorts. Little baby red? Yeah, little baby red grouper. See you, buddy. Go back down to the bottom. I'm just kind of... Just drop this little knocker rig with the shrimp down to the bottom. As soon as it hits the bottom, you don't want it, the hook right on the weight, you know, so you gotta let them separate a little bit. So you just you leave a little slack like that. It's a little bit, you wanna feel, you know, it's a pretty light bite a lot of times. So you'll kind of feel a little tap, tap, and then you just kind of, you just reel. And boom, there's a little tap right there. Ooh, this one's got some weight. Yeah. Feeling heavy, huh? The fun thing about hogfish is surge, once you get one, you can definitely tell because they do that side erratic like action and they start like surging. You know it's him. Like we got the first female, and then you're stoked because you're like, all right, they're here. And then once you get going and then you start getting a bunch of males, then you're like, all right, you're real stoked. So the main thing is just giving you the confidence, like, all right, we can stick here and I know we can catch them. What we got? Oh yeah. 
Nice hog. Oh yeah, nice big male. God, they're so crazy looking. They are. It's wild, wild looking fish. I mean, it looks, it's like an artist went wild trying to get these things. Look at that, beautiful. Another hogfish, dude, crazy. I don't know how yeah. many we've caught, but we've just caught Well, that's, that's, that's 12 good ones yeah. like that. That's 12 nice fish so far. And then we've caught a lot of females, so. Yeah. It's crazy, we're on definitely a hot bite. Look at those, look at those little fangs they've got for just, either fighting each other or digging, you know, sea urchins and stuff out. It's crazy the things you say. Catching hogfish is fun, exciting, and amazing fishing. But wait until you see what Tyler and Captain Jason stock catch next. Nice fish, or? There you go. Oh yeah. Barely hooked, barely hooked, easy. There you go. Nice. Yeah. Pack them in. <laughs> Beauty. Sweet. Ten years ago, people thought you really couldn't even catch these with rod and reel. Yeah. For the most part. Very true. You know, now it's only for the spear fishermen, but not so much. My boy Jason Stock here found out how to get them. Action always brings more action in saltwater fishing. So whenever you get into something. You just keep getting them, getting them. You watch the bottom machine, stuff just starts building and building down there. You call it the show. You, know, you start seeing all kinds of marks down there. We're in about 70 feet of water or so, right, Jason? Yep. Right on a ledge. These hogfish love kind of hard bottom areas. Yeah, that's a nice hog. Look at him. Oh, yeah, that's a Look at that thing, man. That is a beautiful fish. All right, man. Well, dude, the hog fishing has been awesome. We actually just killed him out here, you know? We did. It's been incredible, but got some more stuff going on. You know, we got a bunch of hogfish. Let's go see if we can drop down maybe a big bait and get a big boy. Yeah, we'll go chum up some spots. And main thing with the grouper fishing, you want to chum heavily and then drop big baits and be ready. Boom. Let's go do it, man. All right. Awesome. Cool. You can see the chum falling down. So all of these hard lines that are up here, that's actually our chum that's falling down. And all these things in the bottom are the fish. You can actually see the fish coming up right there and going down to eat the chum. Here's our little chum dribbling down in, and then boom, you see these, these little bit bigger bars coming up and actually grabbing that chum, so it's pretty cool that the fish are starting to come off the bottom and get it. That's the beginning of the process, getting those little snapper and grunts going, then drop down the big boy and see what happens. A live, frisky bait will really calm in all those vibrations and stuff down there. You can tell when they're about to get hit. You gotta be ready. I mean, these guys, they do not play. Some of these groupers, these are about the meanest fish around. Get him, that's a hoss there, buddy. Come on, come on, come on, he's out. I don't know, man. I mean, this is pretty big. It may be a Goliath, huh? Hope it's a big guy. You've got the reef monster. It's starting to come now. God, I hope, it's a, I hope it's a big gag. Whatever it is, it's gigantic. Yeah, we got color. Yeah! Is he up? Yep. When you get pinned down and you can't do anything, so you know it's a dog, but I was thinking it was a big Goliath or a nurse shark, and sure it was a big Goliath grouper, like 250 pounds, it just worked me on 80 pound mono, and my arms were cramping up, but you never know what you're gonna get out there, and that's what keeps it interesting. Where are you going? That is the largest member of the grouper family that we have around here anyway, the Goliath grouper. Now these things are federally protected, not allowed to lift them out of the water. Push them down. Yeah, yeah. Woo! All right, you ready? ready? Let's give him a nice push down. All right, Jason, that was a heck of a fish, man. That fish is... There, there he goes. goes. Woo! Woo! Back down to the bottom. <laughs> I think worked me on that conventional setup. Woo! That thing probably weighs more than you and I put together, brother. That's good stuff. <laughs> and it was nice to cap it off. We went to Blue Marlin Grill. I, I flayed the fish. We brought them in there. They prepared it. And we could, we were relaxing, chatting about the day, and you know, oh, what yeah. better day can you ask for? 